Hello friends. So today in this video, we can discuss the second problem from the latest Code Forces Round 731 problem named Alphabetic Strings. So the problem statement is very simple. It states that a alphabetical string is a string which is of length between 1 till 26 such that you have to form a string using this particular algorithm which is given to you. So initially the string is empty which is like this. Then in each step, you have to perform n steps from a till somewhat n steps. So let's say that you go from A, B, C, D till some, some alphabet which is like K and what you can do here is you can either attach the ith character to the start or to the end. So as you can see you can first take uh, so I can draw it out. So let's assume that you take A as a, the, as a string so it is empty first then you can add B either here or either here so I can add B here then you can add C either here or here so I can add C here and you can add D over here or here so let's assume D here then E also here and F. So this is an alphabetical string such that you have to like add A, B, C, D till some uh, like 26 characters because there are 26 characters such that you can either add to the left or to the right point. Now you are given this as a string and you just have to tell that whether this is an alphabetical string or not. So in always this type of problems like in most problems whenever you have to add to the front or end or you have to do this type of operation just try to use DQ and that will make the problem very easy. So what you can easily understand in the problem is because in DQ you can do the same operation from start to the end. Okay. So the simple just do this whole process in the reverse order and then the problem become very easy. So because you just have to check that whether this given string is alphabetical string or not. So what you can do here is just keep on subtracting from start or end just do the same thing. So first find out what is the maximum character in this string. So maximum character is F. So it means that you, are, you have gone from A till F. Okay, so you have to go from a sequence from A to F. So just do from F to A, just go from that. So you, you have either two options. You have either added F here or here. So you have added F here. So just remove it out here and you just take this pointer here. Okay, now from F, now you go to E. So either E is here or here. E, e is here. So just remove it out because your DQ just you can remove out from top or bottom, like anything, like front or back. Now from it will go to D. Now Either D is here or here, so it D is here, and you have to keep on doing the same. Let's assume that this is not A, like this is not B, this is A. So somewhat it happens that when you go from C, then you come to this point, and now it should be B. Neither of them is B; both are A. So this is invalid. So the valid case is you just go from F till A, and you have removed all the characters from this DQ, and in the end there is the the DQ becomes empty. That is the case in which the answer is perfect else in all the other cases the answer is false and you just have, you just have to check that case only so i can show the code part now just take the string and make a dq of characters and insert everything this whole string in the dq and also find out what is the maximum character because from that character you have to go to the end now you have to go now you just do the for loop from the maximum character you are to the to a and you just go one step back now the following cases can be let's think that you you want that the dq either have uh, let's zoom like I, I'll see, uh, check that. Let's assume that you have a DQ which is like F and A. Okay, now or let's assume it is only F. So you find out the maximum character is F. So you just check that okay the front character is F. Now you just check that the, the next character should be E. Now because the DQ is empty only, what will you check from? But it should go from F till A. So if in any case your characters are still remaining but your dq becomes zero and the answer is also no that this is not possible alphabetical string or else the other case can be if you find out a character which you want which is the cs character it is in the front then prop out that character from the front because you have seen that character which is fine good just pop out that character if that character is in the bed like back then pop out from the back else if you cannot find that character from front or back then the option is obviously because you are going in the alphabetical way from like back to front so in that case you have to either form like get the character which is in the front or back if you, you cannot find that character then the answer is no and it is also important that in the end after extracting out all the characters the dq should become empty if the dq size become empty then only the answer is yes as the answer is no. i hope you understand the logical code part for this problem it's not too difficult if you still have any doubts you can mention down i will say this until i keep coding and bye